Wow. Hi, everybody. I'm going to wait for some people to come on. I know it's late at night, but I actually want to test out this new light, right, that my brother gave me. So, um, hey, Paula. It's Sunday night. Hi, Carrie. As you all can see, before I get started, I want to give a shout out to my makeup artist. Her name is Keisha Black. You can follow her on Facebook because let me tell you, she did a good job on this face beat. I know y'all see it, right? I know y'all see it. But anyways, hi, Carrie. Hi, Ashira. Hi, Giselle. I um, I wanted to get on here real quick before I ended the night. Um, I had a very busy week, very, very busy weekend, but I must say this weekend was a very blessed weekend. Um, I want to say that I had the opportunity to share a message of hope for a lady who is looking to have a lung transplant um, soon, hopefully, um, if that's God's will. Um, I delivered a message of hope. And then also today I had the opportunity to uh, meet a lot of wonderful entrepreneurs. And when I say wonderful entrepreneurs, I mean women boss entrepreneurs in their own right, right? And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful to have been invited to have a seat at the table. But real quick, I'm not gonna stay on here that long. Hi, Kathy. Hi, lady. Who I see, Sharla. Hey. So um, real quick, my title that you've seen at the top of this live was, um, and pardon me, if I don't call your name out, I'm not doing it on purpose. It's just that the names are going kind of fast. Um, but I just want to say thank you all so much for even tuning in on a Sunday night and even watching uh, with me. But the title of my actual Facebook live is titled Leave the Trash in 2019. Um, so much stuff has happened in 2019, not only to me, but many under many other individuals. They've dealt with a lot of things. So I'm a type, I'm a I'm gonna tap into three things. It's gonna be three. I'm gonna give you three things that you should leave in 2019 uh, that I would recommend in order for you to elevate and amplify, right? In 2020. Um, and so number one thing that you should leave in 2019 are toxic relationships. I said toxic relationships, right? And I mean, toxic relationships can mean business relationships that can fall under friendships, situ situationships, and even family, believe it or not. Um, a lot of times we overextend ourselves and we become stressed we become sick, you know, and next thing you know, we're in somebody's emergency room or somebody's hospital because we're overextending ourselves. And what I mean by toxic relationships is you have so many people who are withdrawing from you. Like they want all these freebies. They want the handouts, you know, they want your money. They want your time, but they're not willing to do anything to pour back into you, especially when you want to tap into business relationships business relationships you have to make sure that you are um what's the word i want to use you want to make sure those are authentic business relationships and what i mean by authentic business relationships meaning that you know try not to mix personal with business right unless you know that for a fact that person is not really after you there have been many times where we try to help people and sometimes those people know because maybe you have money or maybe because they see you are a big influence on social media or they may see you as somebody that they can just get stuff out of because they know that you're a nice person. They will continue to come to you and continue to withdraw from you. And next thing you know, your phone is blowing up. You know, they're always calling you and then you don't have time for everything else, you know, and then you have to sit there and look at what, it, what are they doing for me? when it comes to a business relationship, you know, and the way I look at a business relationship is I'm networking, I'm collaborating, 
you know, I'm connecting people, I'm mentoring individuals, but at the same time, some of those things that you are doing for these businesses, they should be reciprocating the same. So if I'm pouring out, they should be pouring back into you. It might not be today or tomorrow, but you still should be reciprocating the same thing. So you cannot pour out from an empty cup. If you keep pouring out from an empty cup, then guess what? That cup's going to be empty and there's not going to be anything in there to refresh you. Um, when it comes to your business and I mean refresh you as far as like connecting you to other people mon monetary wise all those things so again one of those things you need to cut off is toxic relationships when it comes to business you know if if it didn't help you they didn't help you throughout the whole 2019 it's okay to sit there and say you know what I'm just gonna have to cut this business relationship off it didn't work out for us and it's okay it's okay to say no right same thing with friendships. You'll come to find out that even those people that you have known for like 10, 15 years, and you've been friends, when they notice that you are growing, and when I say growing, I mean personally and professionally, sometimes those friends are intimidated by you or they may think that you're better than them, you know, and they start having all these type of feelings towards you. And so at the end of the day, friendships come and go period i mean period point blank friendships come and go don't feel bad about cutting off a friendship you know it may hurt a little bit but in the long run you have to look at is this really a true friend you know is this somebody who's really there for me because sometimes people only are okay with you and, and when they're content and you're like you're content with your life and you're sitting on an even wavelength as long as you're not moving those people are cool with being friends with you right but when they see that you start leveling up and you're soaring and you're going up, then they start seeing you as somebody they may be jealous of. Um, they start seeing, you know, envy. You still, you'll start seeing envy. You know, you'll start seeing jealousy. You'll start seeing all these things. And then, you know, for me, when it comes to a friendship, a friendship, you shouldn't have no hate. You shouldn't have no envy. You shouldn't have no jealousy. A friend is going to be your ride or die, whether you're up, whether you're down. They're going to be high-fiving you. They're going to be clapping for you. They're going to be doing all these things, and you'll still be friends, right? And the same thing goes for family. Family is the same thing, right? When it comes to family, oh, I can't stress that enough. Do not, just because you are blood-related doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stay connected to your family. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I have family members, yes, that... I probably don't no longer talk to, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Doesn't mean that I hate my family. Doesn't mean that I don't love my family, but sometimes you have to love family from a distance and that's okay. That is quite okay with loving family from a distance. It's okay to cut off that family relationship and cut that tie and say, I don't have to talk to this family member every day, but you can still love them from a distance. And the reason I say that is because sometimes your family will suck the life out of you right? They will suck the life out of you. They'll want your time. They're very needy, you know, or they only contact you when they need something instead of contacting you and say, hey, I was just calling to say hello. I was just contacting you to tell you I love you. I was just contacting to see if you need anything. I was just contacting you to say, I'm here for you. If you don't hear from family members like that, it's okay to cut them off. Not saying cut them out your life, you know, I mean, you would never want to cut your family out your life, but it's okay to cut them off when it comes to that family relationship of talking to them every day. Because I'm telling you, when you have that drama and you have that mess going on, then how can you, especially as a business owner, how can you manage to be that speaker or that life coach and devote your time to your own family when you got other family drama going on? So know that it's okay to cut that family tie and it's okay just love them from a distance. Love them with a long-handed spoon. It's okay. You can check up on them every once in a while, but you don't have to take their phone calls. And I know some people may think that sounds harsh, but if it's important or it's an emergency, they'll leave a message, right? They'll send you a text message, but a lot of times they don't want anything. The only thing they want is what you have to offer them, right? So again... Number one, toxic relationships cut off that business relationship. It's okay to leave it here in 2019, 
cut off that situationship. Oh, I didn't even touch on that. Situationships, cut off those situations. I don't care, relationships, situationships, partnerships, whatever you want to call it. When you have somebody that is constantly not supporting you, it's okay to cut that relationship off, right? If you feel like somebody's not supporting you in your marriage or in your relationship, look at it from all angles. And at the end of the day, really, it's about you being happy. You know, if you're not happy, then why stay there? If you're not happy, why stay there? It's okay. I'm not telling you to leave your relationship. I'm not telling you to leave your marriage. What I'm saying is, are you happy? Ask yourself that. And know that at the end of the day, if you're not happy, it's okay to cut that relationship off, right? So that was number one. Leave toxic relationships in 2019. Number two. Oh, the number two thing that you should leave in 2019 is that negative mindset. I can't stress that enough. That negative mindset you need to leave in 2019. I say that because we are our own evil. We will give ourselves doubt. We will talk ourselves out of things. And we wonder why things aren't happening for us. We need to start speaking life into the things that we want to have. We need to start speaking life into other people so we can see them grow and level up. We need to start speaking life. Leave that negativity in 2019. And when I say negativity, leave it all there. The doubt, the hate, you know, the bashing, you know, talking about people, the gossip, you know, anything that can stir up stress and drama, leave it. It's so, look, it's, too much negativity going on in the world. I mean, we got human trafficking going on. We got people hating on people just for no reason. I mean, all you have to do is turn on the TV. I don't watch TV, but all you have to do is turn on the TV. There's enough, enough negative stuff on the television today. So why have that, why have that up here in your brain? Like leave that stuff there. Like, and don't even allow negativity to come in your space. Because when you allow negativity to come into your space, then guess what? Then that's where you're going to be down and out. You're going to be depressed. You're going to just have all these other, it's like a domino effect. All these other things start happening, right? A domino effect. And then again, just like I said in point number one, you're going to find yourself in somebody's emergency room because you done tapped out, right? You stressed out, you done had a stroke, you know, you done had a heart attack, hoping and praying that you pull up out of whatever it is that you put yourself into. So leave that not negative mindset in 2019. Start speaking positivity in your life. You know, start reading the word. Start reading the Bible. You know, I don't know about you, but anytime I'm dealing with something, I guarantee you, you can just open the book and find a scripture. There will be a scripture that will speak right into your life at that one point in time. Or grab your book, grab your inspirational book, put it on the shelf. Whenever you run into an issue, pull it off that shelf, open that book and look for that word of encouragement. Pick up the phone. If you feel like you're in a negative mindset, pick up a friend that's always happy. You know, that you know that's always speaking life to somebody, that's always giving words of encouragement. Hey, even call me. I give you something positive. I post something positive every morning, my morning inspiration. But we got to leave that negative mindset in 2019 because if you don't, there's no way, absolutely no way that you're going to be able to elevate, level up, soar in 2020. And there's no way that you're going to be able to connect to other people with a positive mindset. And I'm going to tell you right now, negative and negative is just even more negative. So leave that negative mindset in 2019. Last point. Number three, the third thing that you need to leave in 2019 is that pain, that hurt, that trauma, or whatever. And I know you're probably saying, well, I can't do that. So-and-so hurt me, you know, or, you know, you're still holding on to baggage from like five, 10 years ago. And you wonder why you're not going nowhere in life. You got to let that pain and that trauma and that hurt go. And I know sometimes it sounds like, 
I make it sound like it's easy. This girl right here, let me tell you, I had a heck of a 2019. You may see a whole lot of stuff on social media, but you, social media, you only see what people want you to see, right? But let me tell you, this is the right here. I've dealt with a lot in 2019 up until now, still. We talking about pain. We talking about hurt. We talking about trauma. We talking about baggage. Leave that trash in 2019. And so one of the ways that you can actually leave or start on that road to recovery by leaving that pain in 2019, get you a therapist, right? I don't care what nobody said, get you a life coach. Get you a counselor. Open a Bible. There's so many things. Reach out to your friends. Reach out to those that you trust. Right? Those that you trust with your life. Reach out to those people. And let them speak life into you. Yeah, I know people are saying, well, I can't afford a life coach. I can't afford, you know, uh, a therapist. I can't afford a counselor. Let me tell you something. There's free resources out there too. Every church has a pastor. There's chaplains out there. And there are nonprofit organizations out there that actually have services that you can reach out to to get this help. I'm going to tell you right now, this girl right here, my pastor helps me all the time just by me going to church service every Sunday and also going into my small groups and my church, right? I have also my small extended circle of family and friends that I know that I can count on if I call them at one, two, three o'clock in the morning and be like, hey, I just need a word of encouragement, right? But I'm telling you right now, whatever has hurt me in 2019 is staying here. So I'm telling you the same thing. What's hurt you in 2019, leave it or at least get on that road to recovery to start healing. Because when you start healing, other things start manifesting. Other doors will start opening for you. Other opportunities will start opening up for you. And then other people will start reaching out to you and engaging with you. I'm going to tell you right now, if somebody's negative in life, I'm not even about to talk to them because at the end of the day, I want to be happy. I have to live life happy on purpose. I'm not going to be happy every day. You know, but I strive to be happy every day. But I also know who the people are that I can count on when I need that help. I'm calling my counselor or my therapist, right? I'm calling, you know, I have a coach. I have friends. I have my network. Leave that pain and trauma and hurt in 2019, especially if you've been holding on to it for years, Right? Especially if you've been holding on to it for years. So the, the biggest thing I want to say is live life on purpose and be happy on purpose. That's right. That's right, Ashira. Be happy on purpose because you know what? Tomorrow is not promised to nobody. It ain't promised to you. It's not promised to me. It ain't promised to nobody that we're connected with, right? And the last thing you want somebody to be able to remember you by is say, man, she lived or he lived a life, but what did they do with their life? At the end of the day, I want to have a legacy to leave behind. I want people to remember me for my happy times, you know, not for my hurt, my pain, my trauma. And if they remember me for my hurt, my pain, and my trauma, it's going to be because of the fact that I use my hurt, my pain, and my trauma to help somebody else on their road to recovery, to become that person that wants to be healed by sharing my story, All right? So again, I'm about to get off of here. Um, I hope that you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Again, those three points before I get off of here. One, leave toxic relationships in 2019. Business, friendships, situationships, family, whatever type of relationship that does not do you any good, leave it in 2019. Number two, that negative mindset 
and even in 2019. Let's have a, a positive mindset moving forward into 2020. And number three, leave that pain, that trauma, and that hurt in 2019. And get on the road to recovery to start healing so that way you can be the best person you can be and be the best version of yourself so people can see who you truly are. Live life on purpose because tomorrow is not promised. And be happy. Live life happy. So I'm going to get off here now. I thank you all for tuning in and watching. Um, if this message uh, meant anything to you, I just ask that you share this video, um, share this live feed, you know, go share it in groups or whatever the case may be, because somebody might need to hear this word. But I only want to put this out here because it was on my heart. And I felt like I needed to share that because if I'm leaving it, in 2019, if I'm leaving this trash here in 2019, then so shall you leave this trash in 2019. Dump it. Put it in a recycle. No, don't, don't use a recycle bin. Put it in the trash can. Put it in a big dumpster. I don't care where you leave it. Flush it down the toilet. But leave this trash in 2019 so you can elevate and amplify in 2020 to be the best version of yourself live life on purpose and just don't worry and be happy right just be happy be fruitful be the life of the party get your dance on turn some music up turn up out whatever y'all want to call it just do what you got to do to leave this trash in 2019 put a lid on it so that way you can have a bigger and greater purpose in 2020 well, that's all I have for you all. Again, share this video, share it with a friend, share it with a family member. So that way, maybe somebody can get some words of encouragement and may need to hear this. I love you guys. I love you all very much. I appreciate you following with my journey. Uh, this is my last video for 2019. So I will see you all on the other side in 2020. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. And I'll talk to you guys again. On the other side, if it's God's will in 2020.